Time Slips welcomes you to Wendy's Neverland, a series of creative workshops that totally reimagine the story of Peter Pan from the inside out and the upside down. These workshops originally emerged from a two-year collaboration between artists, elders, and staff at 12 rural nursing homes in Kentucky. Together, we made art, created songs, poems, dances, you name it. The elders even cut out and painted the letters of the sign that you see here. We had so much fun, we wanted to share it with others. So let's start. First, you don't need the time slips training to do these workshops, but it doesn't hurt. You can find out more about the training on our website. But here are just a few of our key concepts as reminders. We are based in yes and, which is the root of improvisation. We accept and affirm all responses. We are inviting people into expression, not correcting them. It's imagination. There's no wrong answers. You can use our website to share your responses. Let me show you how. In our Creativity Center, you'll find mini projects. Just click there. And then you'll find all the Wendy's Neverland prompts. You can write your responses there or leave them on our toll-free line. On to this week's workshop. In this session, we're going to explore flying. What's the first thing that people think of when you say Peter Pan? It's flying. There's so much to explore here. Let's start with just a really simple visualization. Play a little calming music. and sit, Settle yourself into your chair and close your eyes. And then simply imagine what it feels like to fly. Try it a couple of different times. It can be so calming, feeling yourself stretching out and flying through the air. When you finish, think about where you went, what it felt like to fly. Where did you go and what did you see? Give it a little more in-depth thought. What do you see as the different steps of flight? We see the preparation, the takeoff, full-on flight, the preparation for landing, and of course, landing. Try creating a movement for each one of those phases, the preparation, the takeoff, the full flight, the preparation for landing, and the landing. And then try doing those steps to the music of your choice. You can try different types of music. You can have a calm flight, you can have a funky flight, whatever you feel like. It's important to remember that flying can happen just in your mind. Even if you have limited mobility, flying is a state of mind. Even if you can just lift and move a finger, you can feel the power of flight. Let's explore flying in another way. Can you draw what you saw on your flight? Or maybe map the route you took? Even more simply, invite someone to just write down in a few words where they would go and why. If you're working with multiple people, you can display all these responses together on a map. If it's just you, share it on a postcard with a friend or a family member. We'll see you back for the next installment. From here, enjoy a few more photos from Wendy's Neverland to inspire you. 